everybody this is i say what i said and i'm your host quick hook let's dive right in parents what are we doing what are we doing we're using the babies we're using the babies to smuggle contraband in the prison let's go to the video thought of this whose idea was this you do know you're being watched and 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 ma'am baby girl i don't know if it's a good idea to if he came up with the idea i don't think it's a good idea for the person in jail to be coming up <laughs> with the plan how to smuggle drugs anywhere he's already been caught once obviously and this was one of the most Raggedy drug handoffs I've ever seen. They just toss the baby over the over the table. That baby's like four. <laughs> Walk over to your daddy. <laughs> Walk over to your daddy. And then daddy then then proceed to put your hand in your baby's pants weird like. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> how how much do you love this man to risk losing your child? Is it even your child? Did you borrow somebody's baby? I have so I have so many questions. I have so many questions. And what was this guy in jail for? If it was for selling drugs, this is even stupider. It's even stupider. I just I I just, just dumbass criminals, dumbass criminals, and and dumbass women who decide to love these. He's locked up. This is your chance to get away. Get you a man with a regular job. I know y'all don't really like these guys. I mean, we don't like guys with regular jobs, but now, now you in jail. <laughs> now you in jail. Guess what's not in jail, man? Your kid and dick, which apparently you love, which is why you're doing the stupid shit you're doing. Just, we got to do better. We got to do better, moms. Moms. I'm saying this because we, we don't got no dads fucking up on this show. So moms, we got to do better. Coming fresh off of Father's Day. We're doing all right, fellas. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I I, I saw this story, and I thought I thought it was... I thought it was... I, th I know. I thought it was funny. Let's go to the video. You say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Oh, my God. I said one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Oh, I said one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Oh, we got... Okay. Let me explain. <laughs> Under no circumstances is giving a woman a two-piece combo funny. But I just thought the building up to it, where he he said, <laughs> he, he reached up and was like, oh, my grandmother, like, if you don't leave me the fuck alone, get your food. He was upset. And all when he reached up, it was like he, he was grabbing strength from somewhere up high, <laughs> somewhere up high, and then, and then he two-piece. I was like, okay, the thing that kills me with these videos is, who are these people that are always watching? Who's people? Oh, ain't no way I'm filming a woman get two pieced. I'd have had I, the 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 woman's son wouldn't have had to shoot this motherfucker. I'd have stomped him out. And yeah, <laughs> yes, this motherfucker got shot, got shot. And I think when he went like this, I think he was telling him, "Lord, I'm coming. <laughs> Lord, I'm coming." And his and 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 bless the son because me, hey sir, anybody out there, you put your hands on my mama. I got I, you. You you're going on a t-shirt. You're going on a motherfucking t-shirt. Put your hands on my mama. I promise you, it's gonna be you're gonna be one of them little cute little flyers with you in the clouds kicking it. Okay? So get your get your get your best picture in order. Cause let me let me let you people know something. Your obituary picture has already been taken. We just have to decide which one we gonna use. Put your hands on my mama. We're gonna be figuring it out real soon. So thank God they dropped the charges on this young man. Which is, man, I just really think, I really think that everybody, like good, good citizens, not criminals, 
good citizens. We should get a chance to shoot somebody without without being in trouble. So this man's got that. Hopefully he don't turn into some kind of crazy killer. But I do want to, if you're in jail, you're in jail, you're a terrible person, you should be able to, should be able to go into a lottery. Where's like, hey man, you know what? <laughs> Sorry, your number's up. So you gotta go out here, you gotta get shot because everybody's gotta have this experience. You know, you 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 may die, you may not. I'm sorry. It's just me. I'm, that's what we should do with the criminals. I'm, I'm tired of thugs, is what I'm saying. But I'm glad they dropped the charges, man. That's Thank God. I'm telling you, test me. Put your hands on my mama. It's going to be a fucking problem. Oh, this next thing. This next thing is I'm, I'm a little thrown off about. A little thrown off about as a dad. As a dad of a young athlete. These, these, these deals are getting crazy. We got... A nine-year-old with an NIL deal, which is, which is, he's sponsored. He's sponsored. Six figures. They gave this nine-year-old six figures because he plays, main, he plays a lot of sports, but his main thing is football. He plays in Snoop's Football League, which is a big thing. It's a big deal. This kid, and here's the thing. They gave him six figures. I watched video. And watching the video, I'm not trying to sound like a hater, but is the kid really that good? Or are the rest of the kids he playing trash? Because nobody can tackle this kid, and I'm looking. I'm like, okay, is this a is this a midget playing against? Is this a midget playing against children? Because this kid's coordination is off the hook. It's crazy. It is fucking crazy. They give this kid six figures, and I'm watching him just run up and down the field against people people's kids who just suck. So what's gonna happen when you give this kid all this money? And let's say let's say he he tops out at five foot three, and he's not this great phenom that you think he's gonna be. Good for the parents. Good for the parents, because that's where the money is going. I promise you, this young man, he's nine. He's not, I don't, he's not gonna see none of that money. He's not gonna see none of that money by the time he's grown. He doesn't keep this up. And now the pressure is on. I wanna see, I wanna see how much, how much pressure this kid can take. Cause he's in, I'm, uh, he, he's gonna stay away from drugs. I'm telling you, if I, if I was nine years old with six figures, you know how many candy cigarettes I'm playing? <laughs> they don't make candy cigarettes no more. Oh, man. I would. Where do you put that money? Where do you put Where do you put six figures? You can't trust the banks. Can't trust Cash App. You can't trust Venmo. You can't trust. They, your money's not. You got to keep it under the mattress. Old school. Let's get, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Six figures for a kid running around with a ball. They say nothing about the boy Grace. Boy probably can't even read. Oh, I don't. I just don't know what to do with the money. Let's just let, let's speaking of money. Let's let's jump to this because I've always had a problem with with the with these new money transfer services. They seem cool at first because somebody who's worked in the service industry, you get tired of people wanting to split checks and all that shit. I'm like, no, 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 y'all friends, motherfucker, you pay and then you. Cash App, Venmo, whatever, whatever. Y'all, y'all tight like that. Do you not trust this person? I'm gonna give me all these cards. Oh, we want to split it. The bill, the bill is thirty eight dollars. What are we splitting? But anyway, okay, Cash App. Oh, that's something. Cash App. Y'all in trouble, man. Y'all had a glitch. Y'all had a glitch, and it was taking people's money. I don't keep, I don't keep too much money in Cash App because personally, I think Cash App is for hoes. Uh, <laughs> Cash App is what do I say hoes? I mean like OnlyFans. And like women who sell pussy, <laughs> but that's what it's for. So I got a couple dollars in cash app because you know sometimes people cash at me, and I think hey, look, I took my little fifty nine dollars out of cash app. I was like, you ain't getting me because I'm not about to sit here and be mad over. You know how much gas that is? That's half a tank. I'm not gonna let you get me. There's people out there that keep that that can't can't get a bank account. These chime card motherfuckers and these cash app card motherfuckers. They don't they don't do bank accounts. So they do this fucking. Do this cash it. All their money is gone. It's just gone. Just disappeared. And you have you tried have you ever tried to get somebody on the phone at Cash App? Good luck. Good fuck. You can kiss that money goodbye. There's gonna be so many mad hoes. Oh my god. Let's before we get out of here. Before we get out of here, we kind of, I've touched on this so many times in, in, in so many different ways. Um Uber Lyft. We're talking about, I don't even think Lyft has it, but like Uber, Uber Eats, all these car, all these things where you where you work from your car. You're using your vehicle. It seemed convenient, just like the just like the cash app. Technology, the stuff they come with seems convenient. But at, at some point, we're gonna have to get back to just regular taxis because this shit ain't safe. This shit ain't safe. 
Woman shoots Uber driver in the head because she thought he was kidnapping her to Mexico. I think you had other options before shooting him in the head. I think I think that's a huge leap, ma'am. It's a huge leap because you thought he was taking you to Mexico. I don't know about nobody else, but when I'm in an Uber, I'm in a Lyft. I'm looking at the goddamn GPS. I'm looking at the GPS. I'm looking at, G I'm looking at yours, and I'm looking at mine. <laughs> this, this is why we need the program that I was talking about, where we, where we get to shoot and torture criminals. Because this woman just really, I feel she just really wanted to shoot somebody really badly. And she and she was she was like, ah, this guy'll do. <laughs> this guy looks like a dirt bag. He he reminds me of somebody who I used to didn't like. She and I don't I'm not a I'm not a trafficker. I don't know the rules. But last time I checked, when they're kidnapping you, you're not awake. <laughs> you wake up somewhere. Yeah, you wake up somewhere and you're just chained up hanging. <laughs> and it's too late, bitch. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Put it, lock her up because she's lying. She is fucking lying. I said what I said. Continue to support. Thank you for doing all the free shit if you've already done it. If you haven't done it, now's the time. Like, subscribe, share. I love you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.